Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. And I've got some really cool pieces to be unboxing this evening. So I did a team transport roughly about a week ago, I think now, um, which you can see in the background there. And then I did say I was going to go back. And when I went back, I did pick up this, the Fiat 131 Abath. And what looks like the second story lorry. So pretty cool. So we have got that to unbox now. And also I got a chase piece. I ain't going to say what it is, but I'll show it at the end. It's got a really interesting story on how I acquired it. And it didn't cost a lot. So it was basically for me, definitely the find of this year. If you hear sneezing, it's my partner in the background sneezing. So uh, you have to excuse her. She's carrying on sneezing on the sounds. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So... I found this at the local toy shop nearest to me. Like I said, they do from time to time get team transport in. And you've got to understand something. Um, it's, it's great that my local toy shop, I say my local toy shop, it's the nearest toy shop to me, sells these sorts of things. Um, we really do, where I live, basically there's, there's a lot of mainline Hot Wheels and you get uh, basic Matchbox, but it's very rare really we don't get a lot of premium cars it's very hit and miss where i live unless you're prepared to travel so the fact that he gets team transport and team transport in is awesome let me just flick another light on just bear with me i don't know if that's made a difference at all but i'm noticing it's looking a bit i think that's a bit better anyway so this is from this year as far as i'm aware of and it is from the, is it from the, I think it's in the uh, vintage racing. I think it's the, I think the vintage racing theme is with this one. But uh, anyway, let's get it opened up. And I've already made a mistake. I should have shown the other ones in the range. So just bear with me. So there is some of the other ones in the range. That one wasn't there. That would be one I would have quite liked to have got. That was there. The Plymouth set. But anyway, I got the Fiat set. So let's take a closer look. And it is rather cool. And recently, these team transport sets have been getting better and better. So the car is inside the truck. So you pull this down. Oh, there's a piece of plastic in there as well. So let me just try and figure out how... Hang on. There we go. So the car is out. There is the piece of plastic. And we'll take a look at the car first. So this is the Fiat Abath. Let's get some extra. Let's see if I open this curtain a bit. Bear with me. I'm struggling a bit to see. There we go. So it is in a dark blue, as you can tell. With yellow a yellow roof and i think them arches are plastic i think it's part of the it looks like a piece just bear with me two seconds right sorry about that i'm back again so basically i dropped my camera earlier before i started the video and it did look like it was out of focus slightly so i've just been in checked all the settings and i think i'm a little bit happy with it now so anyway as i was saying earlier it is the arches are plastic. It's a piece that basically stretches right across the metal base. So you basically got a metal base, then a yellow plastic top on top of that. And then you've got the interior on top of that. And then the metal casting drops over the top. So it's got actually got one, two, uh, it's got four layers to it. So it is a pretty well put together car. But yeah, very cool. It's in like a candy dark blue by the looks of it. You can see all the different tampos are very nicely done. You've got the Fit a Bath logo there. Then obviously it says a Bath Rally. You can see the roll cage. I really like these four cross wheels in the plain grey because you usually see them in chrome. But it is a nice, nice piece. So I'm quite happy to have found it. And that looks like maybe where the fuel filler is. So very cool. So that is the Fit a Bath 131 or should I say Fiat 131 a bath. So that's the car. And if I zoom out a little bit, 
we'll take a look at the truck. So this is the second story lorry in the same colour with the same sort of graphics. And again, this is the first time I've seen, or oh, first time I've actually got one like this in my hands. So it's good to have, if you're going to get team transport, sometimes they do get a bit samey with the trucks. But recently I've been picking up trucks that I don't have, so I'm quite happy about that. And you just basically pull this piece off and I think you pull it up for it to go down. That's right. And then obviously the car can go up the ramp and into the back, just about like that. And obviously you've got this cool black treading here on the top of the on top of the uh, transporter. I'm just trying to see yeah, it's blue in the bottom piece. But it is a cool set. Uh, plastic base, rubber tires, but that's no problem. So very cool. So like I said, you can have three cars on this one, as you can see. So you don't just have to have the one like with that one in the background, you can only get one. With this, you can actually put three vehicles on. So let's just put the car in the back like that and seal it up. So that is the Fiat, the one, the oh, brain switched off. The Fiat 131 Abath and the second story lorry. Very cool. And if he keeps getting these cool pieces in, I will keep buying them. Anyway, let's pull the, that up a little bit because I'm getting blinded by the sun and zoom out and take a look at the next piece. So the next piece was a unbelievable find. Um, I'll just get straight into it and show you. It is this very cool 1970 Chevy Kingswood Estate, ultra red, which is unheard of for where I live. So basically, Auto World doesn't exist over here, technically. We don't get them on the pegs, or at least where I live, we don't get them on the pegs. Unfortunately, if I want to get Auto World, I have to either buy them online. There is a decent, a fairly good um, UK based site where you only pay a couple of pounds shipping and I think the cars are about seven pounds something like that seven or eight pounds so it's not bad but he's always pretty much sold out and you know if you and, and it takes him a while to get the new ones in so buying them from him cheap isn't always easy because the cars you want are gone and if you go on eBay which is all very well and good but as we all know you tend to pay a little bit well, quite a bit more with shipping. So anyway, I was after this particular casting. I was quite fancy getting this turquoise blue casting that everybody has been finding. So I ended up with this. So how I ended up with this was I went to a shop that I used to go to a few. I haven't been to it for quite a while. Is where I used to get all my um, large scale cars and 118 scale cars from when I used to collect large scale. And he has been getting little bits of green light and little bits of auto weld in, strangely enough. And when he bought in one of the cases, wherever he got it from, he come across this and didn't know what it was because he's not, he's quite an elderly bloke and he runs his shop more as a hobby. It is a proper shop, but he doesn't get masses of trade. He's mainly a large scale dealer. So when I went in to say hello, just off the off chance, because I haven't seen him for a while and I do get on with him pretty well, he was showing me some of the cars that he had and he basically asked me what this was. So I instantly couldn't believe it because not only was it the casting I was after, but it was the chase piece. So I immediately told him and showed him what these cars are. And he was really good enough. So I got this for the actual price the car should have cost. So I basically paid him £8 for this, um, which was really really good and i did tell it say to him that these can fetch upwards of about 30 to 35 pounds i believe these are one of three i think three percent of the of the whole total i don't know i can't remember now but anyway the original one is in that it looks like I'm trying to see what the color it is i can see it the camera zooming again <coughs> wrong button let's try again so is it misty turquoise poly should have been the first original color but i know some of you out there are going to squirm but i'm an opener and i want to see the car so it is open and let's take a closer look so i know a lot of people some people don't like the red uh tires i'm not really bothered 
I wanted the car so bad before and to find it as a chase piece is unheard of. So this is a great find. Or should I say I was just very, very, very lucky. So it is in obviously ultra red. Sorry about that, I was being shouted. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is very nice in the hand. The camera is not doing it justice. So it has got the red traits on this are obviously the ultra red paint, the red interior, and you've obviously got red tires and you've obviously got white wheels. Now, I don't know what the engine is like on this, obviously. So let's see if we can get the bonnet up. And luckily, this has got the actual engine colour, which I was hoping for, because sometimes these cars, they have a white engine as well. Now, they, they usually put, I believe, because I'm not an expert on these cars, they put at least three to four different traits to make it an ultra red. <clears throat> but it is very, very cool. Let's get some extra zoom on. Oh, I keep pressing. I'm not having a very good day today with this camera. So there is the back. So it does say 1970 on the back. But it is a very, very cool piece. I'm very, very happy to have it. Great detail. And like I said, I am bothered that it's got red tyres because I like the casting. It is awesome. But anyway, with that, let's zoom out. That is today's finds. Or should I say that it's today's video, it's not today's finds, because technically I found them, I found that the other week, back at last week, and I found that the other day. So anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more unboxing premium videos, hopefully some more Auto World in the future, obviously vintage Diecast Monday episodes, and with that I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching, take care.